So girls always be like, oh, your eye color is so beautiful. Can I have them? <laughs> no. But your kids can. Come over. Can you tell me the Wi-Fi password? Sure, it's Mickey, Minnie, Pluto, Huey, Louie, Dewey, Donald, Goofy, Sacramento. That's a long password. They said it had to be eight characters and a capital. Ha ha ha. With a password like that, I'm going to need a vacation just to type it in. If her name starts with an A, she is dangerous. If her name ends with an A, run. If it starts with an A and ends with an A, <laughs> rest in peace. You've probably seen those cool animation videos on social media. They get millions of views and make big bucks for the creators. They earn through YouTube AdSense, TikTok's creativity program, or even paid sponsorships. Stick animations are super fun and really grab people's attention. The great news is not many people are doing this yet. So you can jump in, grow fast, and make more money. You can post your awesome animation videos on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube, and make money on all these platforms. In today's video, I'll show you step-by-step -step how to make amazing animation videos using a free AI tool. Follow my steps, and you could be making over $10,000 a month. I'll break down the whole process into four simple steps. Writing the script, generating the voiceover, creating the sticky characters, and editing the video. First, take a look at any sticky animation video. You'll notice they pass a message in a funny way. So, we'll start by writing a script that's both hilarious and meaningful. First step, writing the script. We'll use ChatGPT to help us with this. After logging into your ChatGPT account, type this prompt. I'm making short, funny YouTube videos. Can you give me some jokes about misunderstandings with passwords? I've also added some prompts in a doc file that you can use. With our script ready, it's time for the voiceover. Second step, generating the voiceover. We'll use Eleven Labs for this. First, log into your Eleven Labs account. There are many voices in different categories in the library. You can check them out and choose the one that fits best. I'll use voices from the character and animation category. After choosing your voice, Copy the script from ChatGPT, paste it into Eleven Labs, and generate the voiceover. Then, download it. Eleven Labs also offers a free plan with 10,000 characters. The link is in the description. After finishing the first line, follow the same steps to generate the voiceover for all the conversation lines. Since we have two characters, repeat the process for the second character, selecting a female voice if that's your choice. Third step, creating the animation. Now it's time to create the animation, and we'll use Adobe Express for this. Search for Animate from Audio and click on the option that appears. If you don't have an account, you'll need to sign up. Once you're logged in, click on Start Now to jump into the fun. In the new interface, you'll see a bunch of characters you can pick from. I found one named Sticky that looks pretty funny and simple. But don't worry, there are hundreds more if Sticky isn't your style. Next, you can pick a background. There are lots to choose from but I decided on one called Bedroom. You can also adjust the size of your animation for different platforms like YouTube, Instagram, or Facebook. I chose a 916 ratio for shorts. From the record button, you can record your voice, but I want to upload a voice from Eleven Labs, so click on Browse and upload your voice file. And here it is. Our animation is ready. Let's see a preview. Can you tell me the Wi-Fi password? For the second character, I'll choose a girl named Eliza. For the background, I'll select Candlelight. Then, upload the voice we generated from Eleven Labs. Our animation is ready. All right, all of our animation clips are ready. Now it's time to put them together using a video editor. I'll use CapCut. CapCut is a free and easy to use tool. Download it and open a new project. First, set the ratio to 916. Then, import your animation videos. After importing, arrange them in the timeline according to the script. Next, add some effects. I'll use the vignette effect but there are many options you can choose from. You can also add transitions between clips to make everything flow smoothly. In the first clip, I will add mix transition. Here I will add pull out. Here this one is looking good. To make it even better, add some funny background music. I'll pick a track that fits well. After adding cut the remaining part. Also low the background volume to minus 10 dB and animation audio high to 5.5 dB. CapCut also has an auto caption feature. Click on text, then auto caption, Choose English and generate captions. There are many templates to choose from, so pick one that looks good. This template is looking awesome. Our video is ready, let's export the video. Can you tell me the Wi-Fi password? Sure, it's Mickey, Minnie, Pluto, Huey, Louie, Dewey, Donald, Goofy, Sacramento.
That's a long password. They said it had to be eight characters and a capital. Ha ha ha. With a password like that, I'm going to need a vacation just to type it in. You can also create a one-line animation video with just one character. In Adobe Express, you'll find lots of characters to choose from, so pick whichever one you like. Upload this type of video to Instagram and TikTok. After downloading the video from Adobe Express, add captions using CapCut. In just a few minutes, your video will be ready to go. If her name starts with an A, she is dangerous. If her name ends with an A, run. If it starts with an A and ends with an A, <laughs> rest in peace. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, hit the like and subscribe button. If you have suggestions for other tutorials or need a full course on other topics, let me know in the comments. I'll make sure to cover it in a future video. See you in the next one.